I have a Cybertruck reservation. I've had it since about 10 minutes after the reveal. I'm not thinking I'll get it anytime soon, but at least now we have a pretty good idea of when Tesla will actually be mass manufacturing the new Tesla Cybertruck. A recent report has just come out saying when it will actually happen. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans, and I'm coming to you from Melbourne in Australia. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel over the past 18 months, 18 months, really. We only started this channel about a year and just over a year and a half ago, and I didn't expect this to happen. I was really, I've got to tell you, I was really motivated by Tony Sieber. I originally watched his YouTube videos many, many years ago, and I thought at the time, you know what, the average person really thinks the world is going to hell in a handbasket. And the average person really thinks the answer to that is hydrogen powered vehicles. And at the time I thought, it's not, it's not. The average person at the time thought renewable energy just wouldn't happen, it wouldn't take off, and it wasn't economically feasible. But Tony gave us the numbers. He did this back in 2014. He's pretty accurately predicted pretty much everything that's happened since. So he was my original guru and really the key motivator for me starting this channel. And then of course, you know, I was right into gasoline powered cars and they just got more and more boring. The performance figures, you know, coming out of these supercar manufacturers and coming from these gasoline hot hatches and, you know, the numbers were barely changing, barely changing. And I was thinking, hang on a minute, EV numbers, they're going crazy. We're seeing over the air software updates give you 5% more power. When has that ever been done in the history of the automotive industry? It hadn't been done until then. And that kind of thing got me excited about Tesla. What excited me about Tesla was the fact that they were over delivering and under promising. That's really what they were doing. They were, they're still doing it. I mean, what other company is doing it? They're all saying, pretty much every competitor to Tesla are saying, yeah, 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 we're gonna give you lifetime over the air updates. They're saying that, are they actually doing it? Please, if they are, if you've bought one, and you're getting some amazing over the updates that are making your charging speed faster, that are giving you 5% better efficiency or more, 5% free power, a free many, 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 many things, like a list of more than I can list here. More than 100 things have come out in the last three years that a Tesla have given people for free. Please, if someone else is doing this and I haven't heard about them, I absolutely want to know. I do. Cybertruck production is finally ramping up. The first video I did for this channel I listed 87 reasons why I thought the Cybertruck was better and would outsell the Ford F-150 Lightning. And even though that was a long time ago, I've actually filmed that video about two years ago, but I didn't, I didn't use it. I thought it wasn't very good. I thought the content, which took me days and days and days to put together was good, but my delivery wasn't very good. The video wasn't that great. Anyway, if you let me know what you think of it, I'll put a link in the description below to that original video. I stand by what I said there. It's a key reason why I ordered the Cybertruck. It's an amazing car. It's a revolutionary car. Think about it, right? Companies have been making pickup trucks for years, for decades, and they've done it pretty much the same way. Barely anything has changed. Look at the shape of them. They're almost the same as what they were 50 years ago. Nothing really has changed. The Cybertruck though, there are so many reasons why it is better than the competition. The only other car in my opinion that's similar in terms of practicality, remember a pickup truck, what is the main the main reason? Practicality that you own it. Yes, I know a lot of people don't use them day to day. There's, the trays are empty, you see them driving around, but that doesn't mean they don't use them. They might use it you know, once every couple of weeks for something where they do need it, all right? That's my key point. You want a pickup truck that's practical and makes best use of the space. The only competitor in my opinion that is doing that is the Silverado, the new version, the new Silverado electric pickup truck with its mid gate and its ability to open the back of the tray in the same way that the Tesla Cybertruck will be able to do in order to use the entire interior of the vehicle. Plus, then of course, there's some other huge benefits to both of those pickup trucks, like the fact that they're EVs. So Tesla say they're planning to begin Cybertruck mass production at the end of 2023. Well, Tesla don't say it, a new report says it. And we're talking mass production. Tesla is in the final lap of Cybertruck development. Elon Musk said during the Q3 earnings call in October. 
Now the company is planning or preparing to set potential dates for production goals, actual numbers, with an exclusive report from Reuters indicating mass manufacturing of the Cybertruck will begin at the end of next year. This is mass manufacture. So it sounds like small scale manufacturing will happen long before that date. Two people, apparently anonymous sources from Tesla, say that Tesla will have their manufacturing ramp of the Cybertruck completed as 2023 comes to a close. I mean, basically 12, 13 months from now. Tesla has planned for Cybertruck manufacturing to begin in mid-2023 for some time. The company aims to have actual vehicles being produced within probably about six to eight months, but actual mass production won't begin until the end of 2023. I personally think it's going to be an enormous task. I think it's going to be far harder than, I mean, Tesla, I do think they're aware of it, and I'm not some genius that knows more than the engineers at Tesla, but clearly, this is the first time a vehicle's ever been made in this way with an exoskeleton. This is the first time a vehicle has many, many different things they're doing on this stainless steel, right? Many things they're doing on this vehicle are just world first. That's why I think it's going to be tough and difficult. Do I think they'll get there? Of course, absolutely they will. Did they get there with the Model 3? Yeah. Was it hell for a while? Yes. Did they do it? Did they pull it off? Definitely. Did they make that car massively improve over the last few years? Yes. They're going to use a lot of what they've learned. And they're going to put those, those things they've learned into this vehicle. It's going to be a lighter pickup truck. For its weight, I estimate it'll be the lightest electric pickup truck that we'll see for at least five years for its weight and size. There's one big question I have though. You know, I ordered the tri-motor version. I got excited uh, and I thought the price was amazing, which it was, but what is the price now? No one knows. Tesla took all the specs, all the prices off the website. And now, um, I don't know what they are. I mean, apparently there's gonna be a quad motor version. That's cool. You know, there'll be a single motor version a dual motor version and now a quad motor version instead of a tri-motor version. I like that one extra motor. I'm good with that. But I don't know the specs. I don't know the range. I don't know the price. Will I be able to get one? I mean, there's 26,000 pre-orders for Australians. Will we still get them? I think we will. Will it take a few years? Absolutely. Will the price be different to what Tesla originally revealed? I think it will be. I think there's no doubt about it. Tesla will increase the prices. They originally said $40,000 for the base model. Ford said the same thing. What did Ford do? They raised the price by about $10,000 after a few months. After they only delivered about seven of them. No, they delivered more than seven, but it wasn't very many. It was literally in the hundreds. So I don't think Ford's promise of $40,000 was one they really stuck to either. Is Tesla going to stick to it? No, I don't think so. I think you'll see a price for the base model variant. This is my guess, $55,000 US dollars. That's my guess for the base model. Then you're going to get the incentive, probably the $7,000 US dollar tax credit, bringing the price of the vehicle down to say 45 to 48,000 US dollars, meaning it'll still be a very affordable pickup truck. But yes, it won't be $40,000. But I've been saying that for a long time. If you disagree, I wanna hear from you. Let me know. Do you disagree? Let me know what you think. Tesla will initially manufacture the battery packs for the Cybertruck at the Fremont factory in Northern California. And the vehicle's casting will be built by Idra's 9,000 ton Gigapress. Everyone expects Tesla will use 4680 cells for the Cybertruck. I don't think that's true. I think they will, but everyone's thinking that's all they're going to use. So they need heaps of 4680 cells. I don't think that's the case at all. In fact, I'm fairly convinced Tesla will use lithium ion phosphate cells for the new structural battery packs from CATL. I think they would have given CATL the specs for the sizes that they need on those packs a long time ago. Those battery packs would be much cheaper to manufacture. The only problem there is this. They're not made in North America, so Tesla wouldn't qualify for the battery subsidies for those battery packs. But they absolutely do need to have an LFP version to keep the costs down. So how are they going to do it? Well, I have an idea. In fact, I'm convinced I know who's going to make them for Tesla and how they're going to do it and where they're going to do it. And I have a video coming on that very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.